All right, I'm just going to start recording again because, you know, now, when I uh, I just decided to try changing the settings on OBS. When I did last time, because uh, I actually ended up having so much trouble with OBS that I refused to upgrade or refused for a while to upgrade to the latest version. And I may, in fact, still not be using it. I don't even know anymore. Um, well, let me see. I love being able to run Minecraft and actually look at different things. Yeah, without going... I'll back out of the game and check this and then let you know. Uh, okay, so the version I have, which I think I downloaded from the OBS website mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, uh, is uh, 0 0.657 beta. Yeah, I have 0 0.120. Yeah, so you're a little bit behind still. But it does everything I need it to do. I guess. I may have to look into a new version and try it. Yeah, it's... Well, the thing is, if you get the uh, newer version, there's a plugin that will switch the recordings after a set interval. Wow. Oh. So, no Wait. more GOAT. Oh, so I could just have it automatically do that shit for me, and I'm liking yeah. that. I'm liking that a lot. I sound more racist than I meant it to. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the resources. Is it still? Well, it was ra Oh, it's done raining. Where is it? Now I'm caught under rock. I don't even know where I am. Uh, it might be done raining. It might also be night already. I can't tell. <sighs> yep, it's still raining. All right, I just need to go feed cows. I need leather. I need there to be more cows. Actually, I probably don't even. I don't know. I see it's. You need, what, 16 bookshelves? or 15. Eight, 15 bookshelves. So that means I need 45 pieces of leather. I started to say slices of leather. That's not quite it. That's kind of it. Well, yeah. I suppose so. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, Alright, let's put that away. Where is wheat? There is wheat. Let's hope it's not too death out here. Good oh, lord, there's still thing. a lot of cows out here, actually. I'm probably more than I'll ever need. Good. Um, come on. I'm trying to feed you all, but you're all stupid. All right. Cows. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna chicken, so we can have cow and chicken. Mate, have sex with each other. Not while you're watching. Well, they'll do it. They're cows. I don't care. They have no dignity. Yeah. I need to take down that step I just put there so that they will stop sex. Well, not sexing. Uh, stop. Or it will stop things from coming in. Wait. None of this sounds good. All right. <laughs> Let me grab these seeds and put them in that chest outside. I really need to do some more sorting in this. So, this is the junk vegetable chest. Yeah. Every home should have one. Yes. The unwanted vegetable chest. So, <laughs> just the vegetable chest, then. So, I attempted cooking last night. Okay, is that an unusual thing for you to do? Yes, given I will either make something that is very good that I can never explain nor reproduce... Uh -huh. Or horror. And I did not make horror last night, I don't believe. I can't. Where did that baby zombie come from? Well. Actually, yeah. I probably just answered my own question. Yeah. But, um. Yes, it is. I, I don't know if it's good or not. As strange as that sounds. Like, I, uh -huh. I made it. It tastes fine as far as I'm concerned, but it's weird. Like, uh -huh. alright, I took some smoked pork, uh, pork, like, I think, elbow, or, yeah, smoked pork elbow, or knuckle, or joint, or knees, or tonsils, and, because smoked pork doesn't bother me like regular pork does, because I'm old and things hurt me. And I, uh, you know, cooked that. It was, I boiled it for ages and ages and ages to make a stock. 
Uh huh. Pulled it off the bones. It was all fine. Good. Then I took some pureed pumpkin and threw that in. Uh huh. And I, um, let's see, pureed pumpkin, added garlic, and I, you know, took all the pork off the bone, and it was fine. It tasted perfectly good as far as my tongue was concerned. Uh huh. And, except, for some reason, I added no salt into it. Oh. At all. But it was extremely salty. And this confused me and confounded me for a while until I realized that it was probably smoked cured bacon. Or pork. Yeah, probably. I was like, oh, I'm retarded, that's why. Well, there you go. But I actually mm. ate a fairly decently large amount of it. Like, three or four bowls of it, because aside from the pork stock, there's not particularly anything bad or unhealthy in it, so... And I skimmed a lot of fat off of the top of that, so... It's healthier than it would otherwise be. Okay, it's still I heard of slime. But yeah, it was just one of those things of I, I think I like it because I keep eating it, but I can't be sure. And that I know that sounds strange, but it's the best way I can describe it. I think I like it because I keep eating it, but I don't know. Apparently I have openings in my floors just enough for it to qualify as a slime spawning area. Hmm. Well. It's a shame that there's no way to stop that. Well, I mean, there is. I can patch the holes in the floors. Hmm, fair enough. Because a two-block tall space is, I don't think, enough for slimes to spawn in. Generally. Nah. Also, I appear to have lost my steps. Ah, well, that's not me, so... So, I, I think I'm actually trapped here now. Well, this is your home now. So, I actually found... Oh, God, I was reading... I like reading through weird manga. I don't particularly care if it's gruesome or, you know, what have you. Yeah, you know... I, I just will read whatever weird-ass niche manga I come across for the damn evening. Okay. If I get bored. I can't even remember of the name of this one, but I think it is literally like, um, Left Hand of God, Right Hand of the Devil. Oh. Which is, you know. But, let me tell you about how stupid everyone was in this manga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> first chapter... These kids are in bed at night. A little kid and his... Or a guy and his sister. His sister's like 10. He's 8. And the sister's friends apparently climb in through their second story window. As one does. Mm -hmm. And say, hey, the teacher's house was just whisk whisked away in a flood. Let's go see. So... Being the small child that he is, and how easy it would be for him to get hurt, his sister decides to take him with them. Uh-huh. And they find a pair of rusted scissors, which the child for some reason touches, and goes, Oh my god, these are evil, they're going to kill us, because he has the magic brain powers. Anyway, the sister goes... This is stupid. It's just a pair of useless rusted scissors. There's no way that these could harm us. And then for er, and then puts them in her pocket, thinking, I have to hide these from my friends. <laughs> uh, okay, so they're just ordinary scissors, but she needs to have them. She then, or so then, the kid wakes up in the morning going, oh man, it was just a dream after passing out when he saw skeletons pop out of, you know, this mud, or out of the mud in the collapsed teacher's home. Uh-huh. It was just a dream. Goes over to open his desk drawer where he finds his cat stabbed to death with the scissors. Oh. Now... The sister there, he goes, wah, it's the scissors, they're evil. And he goes, don't be silly. The scissors aren't evil. <laughs> you didn't see anything. If you tell anyone about this, I'll kill you, essentially. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, but still believing that she is, for some reason, not at all possessed. This is all normal. 
So it continues in these veins until the child finds out that he has the power to kill evil things and raise the dead, apparently. And he, you know, brings his sister who has died back to life after... Oh, well, I suppose I should get to the part where she begins throwing up skeletons. Literally just throwing up skeletons. Like, one after another after another. And the kid goes... I told you, I saw those skeletons in the basement. She's throwing them up. They were in a basement full of mud. After his sister has just spent the better part of, like, 20 or 30 minutes vomiting torrents of mud to the point where it filled an entire room. Uh And they go, don't be stupid. Now, they have approached Goosebumps level of stupid parents here. Uh Uh-huh. But... He begins vomiting up skeletons like, I told you, I saw those skeletons there. No one believed me. And I was, Why would we believe you? That's foolish. <laughs> All right. Like the child vomiting up skeleton, Whole skeletons. Whole child's eye skeletons. She vomits up seven of them. <laughs> and they're still disbelieving this kid and his goddamn story. So... She then begins vomiting up tricycles. <laughs> Whole tricycles. So, essentially, it continues on until the kid solves the mystery and brings everyone who died back from the dead because he's little Japanese Jesus. But, you know, also the devil. Because balance is important. No, but... Next story, I can't even remember, but it literally went along the same lines of stupidity. The next story, the teacher decides, I'm going to take these children out to the country. They've been going through a lot. Oh, wait, yeah, the kid murdered his teacher, but then found out she was a monster, so it made it okay. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, the next story, the teacher, I'm going to take these people out to the country... Are these two kids, no other kids, just this little boy and his little sister, out to a secluded country location? Because this is something that a teacher could totally do without raising, you know, raising suspicion. Mm-hmm. So, that's to they're visiting his friend who is sick and, you know, probably going to die soon and yada yada yada. He begins talking about horrifying spiders that vis- he sees in the middle of the night. The kid then catches a weird-looking white spider, which they all admit that he, you know, is, you know, or that it looks like no spider any of them have has ever seen. The guy flips his shit going, that's the spider, Rob Larg. And they go, get rid of the spider. So he decides to keep it just without telling any of them. Then... They get a call to this strange woman who lives far up the mountain, but is beautiful and eternally young and yada 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 tropes. Uh Uh-huh. So, the teacher goes up there and finds out that she has a hole in her tongue exactly the shape of a spider. Meanwhile, while this is going on, her butler, who looks remarkably like a spider face, um has taken the kid aside and is trying to kill him, threatening, or demanding to know where the spider is. The kid stabs him through the head with, like, I I can't remember, but just through the head with a sharp object and then runs away. He then goes back and goes, The butler tried to kill me, so I stabbed him through the head and killed him. Cue the butler walking back into the room with a hole through his head. And then he goes... Oh my god, what happened to you? And he, I told you I stabbed him through the head. And he goes, uh, I hit my head on something in the kitchen. They decide to believe the butler with a hole through his head instead of the small child. Who has already twice over saved the lives of countless people demonstrating psychic abilities and yada yada yada. So, the kid then goes back and tells his sister where he secretly hid the spider. The teacher, who she, ha- the sister, has a crush on because he is the handsome anime trope. And then comes and I need that spider to cure the sick woman. Because doctors totally use spiders for that. That's not strange. So, the sister tells him where the spider is. He goes back, puts it on the woman's tongue. The child shows up just in time to save everyone's asses again. And, uh... 
Then they go back to the city, having, you know, locked the spider woman in the basement where she can do no harm, blah, blah, blah. So when the teacher gets back, remarkably, his girlfriend is suddenly acting very strange, like screaming in terror when you step on spiders in front of him. But there couldn't possibly be anything wrong with her. Obviously, this child is overreacting. So I appreciate the fact that this kid, this nine-year-old, then just goes into a parking garage where he knows the woman who's acting strange has parked her car and proceeds to set her on fire in her car. <laughs> instead of dealing with people's stupid bullshit. I mean, there is some, you know, she almost escapes. Wah, they're in danger. Wah, bullshit. But I just like that this, you know, eight-year-old kid went fucking him a kill a bitch. And the whole series continued on in that manner until it abruptly just ends in the middle of one thing for no discernible reason. And... I just sat there after I got done reading, because it's actually a long, long series. And I was just sitting there staring at the screen afterwards going, I don't know how I feel about any of what I just read, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that it made me less of a person when I was done. <laughs> like, I am, I am less of a human being than I was when I started. All right, how's the... Oh, sugar cane's coming in nicely this time of year. All right. I hate it when it does that. Uh, what? Oh, uh, I forgot to build walls around this little sugar cane range, so one piece fell. Oh. I suppose I could try and get it from the cows if I really wanted. Uh, it's theirs now, I don't care. I say as I walk out into the dark night for a single piece of sugar cane. <laughs> okay, no, it wasn't in here. And I forgot to bring anything that would actually allow me to climb back out of this pen. Well, well I guess you live with the cows now. <laughs> this is my home. Oh, damn cows. Fine, I'll dig a hole down and use that block to get the hell out of here. Oh, and that zombie dropped iron, so... Yay. Bonus. Boners. Oh, there's the goddamn block. Cow is standing on it so I couldn't see it. Alright. Iron. These cows confounding you at every turn. They're tricksy, I tell ya. Confounding you. Confounding. Uh, the Dover Boys. It's one of those things that I cannot fully explain. It was a cartoon that I watched repeatedly when I was a little kid. Like, it is so very much shit that would make sense to no one these days. It was like a Disney cartoon about kids in a college in like the 19 fucking 20s or so. Or even the teens. It was making fun of that. A stereotype that now means nothing to no one. Uh-huh. But, um... It's on, like, YouTube. I was... And apparently making a bookcase in, uh... The Extended huh. Workbench crashes...